Hey guys, I'm Mama J, and boy do I have a treat in store for you today. Last weekend, I got the opportunity to go down and visit with the breeders of Phantom Gecko, and they gave me an opportunity to tour their reptile room. Now, William and Essie have the most amazing collection of geckos I think I've ever seen, and they work with over 20 different species. I have been so excited to be able to share this tour with you. So without further ado, come and join me on a visit with Phantom Gecko. Walberg's Velvet Gecko. So it's from, I want to say Madagascar, but kind of the East African area. So they like a kind of a, a drier climate. They're more savanna. So they like a little bit of humidity, but not a lot. Um, and eventually we're going to put these guys in tanks with lights. Yeah, yeah I I've see seen. that black tank. That yeah. is really it's unusual. Cool. Yeah, I've heard that they have one of the strongest bites in the gecko kingdom based on how, you know, bulldogish sweet. their head is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love their little short flat snouts. Mm -hmm. And their scales are so cool too. They're fish scale shaped, so they're oh, rounded. Oh, they, I see it now. Yeah, and yeah. they overlap instead of just are right next to each other. There you go. Which is very cool. So this is a termite heel gecko. Mm -hmm. They're very cool. So we have two females in that one, and we have a little male. And uh, it's almost, I'd say I, it's closer to a Pictus gecko. Yeah, it's like a cross between those a two. A Pictus and a Crested. But they can like climb glass, which is cool. Yep, yeah, then pair them. But he's nice and colorful right now. He's a gorgeous gecko. Mm -hmm. It's an all female species, so they're parthenogenic. And you can see the little eggs. She has another little lady right down here up behind this sticker. And we have one egg in there right now, incubate. It's the only one we have so far. Yeah. We had another one, but they, they munched on it. Um, but they're a colonial species, so we have multiple together, and they always do better together. Which is that red sky geckos. And her babies have been super pretty. I was going to say, she's got this really vivid color. Mm -hmm. She looks exactly like her mama. She is so pretty. When she first hatched, though, she was like a, just a pl So, that's one thing about the reds is when they're babies, they're really boring. But when they're fully grown, that's when their reds start coming out. So hers is coming out. So she should be a really nice red. About what age does uh, color start coming out like that? Um... It's more of a more weight, of a weight kind oh, of okay. thing. Weight age. Yeah. So roughly around the fifteen gram mark. What you doing? You oh, so the one closest to me. That's Zeus. That's the mm -hmm. male. Mm -hmm. And what's the other one's name? Olive. Olive. That's the female. She's that new grammar. Hi, sweet girl. Very happy with her. Mm -hmm. So she was produced by Rob Penison. And he's actually become a really good mm -hmm. source of knowledge for me for, you know, leeches and behavior and, you know, just overall gecko care. Yeah, she's so about cool. how old is she right now? We she's... actually have her birth date, so she's going to be two years, uh, what is the eighth month? Is that August. August? Mm -hmm. So August years. 8th, I believe, is when her birth date is. Mm -hmm. She still has some growing to do. Mm -hmm. So it's a yellow spot toque, um, so it's kind of a gray background with, instead of orange spots, bright yellow spots. But she is so pretty. Mm -hmm. But I love the tokes. I love them for their grumpy personalities. And my guys aren't even all that grumpy. But this is one of the holdbacks from last season where we, or two seasons ago. We're yeah, I can see the more. orange coming out. She's mm -hmm. yeah. she's in shape. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she's normally oh, oh, bye. So we met this little smaller breeder who was just kind of doing it for the hobby. 
Look at that. Yeah, eyelashes. Really, oh mm -hmm. my goodness. Really nice structure, really nice yeah. color. So I'm very excited for that one. Oh, bye. <laughs> Oh. And he's got a lot of growing to do. His siblings are about 65 grams. Yep. And, uh, and William Bedard has like started one of the first crested gecko colonies when they first were imported in, and he's had a lot of a lot of time breeding. And now he just breeds dubia, and that's what he does. Okay. But um, we got one of the last crusties that he. He's still kind of breeding here and there just for fun and selling them here and there, but we got like one of his last big breeding projects. Yeah. One thing I like about this guy is he actually has double crests. Yeah. So if you see right there, he'll actually have One two, pointing down, one pointing up. Yeah, two crests coming out of the same point. He actually has a lot more coming out around this. That's really cool. I've never seen a double crest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love their colors though. Yeah, I was going to say that turquoise and green. Mm -hmm. Taking a tour. Yep. It happens. There's plenty of food in here. Oh, yeah. So she's on a diet. She was getting fat in her old enclosure, so I stopped feeding her as much. Because we had her and her mom together, and they were doing really well. And it turns out she was eating the double food that we're putting in for oh, both her and her mom. Apollo. So he, she's very fat. But she's very sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, so let's bring him over here and see if you want to clean him. It's <laughs> like serving. But our Felsuma, he used to be as fast as that guy was and flighty like him. He was too. faster. Yeah. I think this yeah. might be the fastest gecko species. So they call him a poor man's gecko, but what is the official name? Uh, a poor man's leechy. A poor man's leechy, I'm sorry. Um, the actual name. The typical name you'll see is Gaiera vorax, which is incorrect. It's a like Gaiera marginata. Um, so some people will call them vorax geckos, which is not correct. Yeah, um, they haven't been imported. Yeah. From what we've read, they haven't been imported since, you know, the early 80s. So, there's kind of a, a misnomer going around. So some people will call them vorax geckos, some people will call them halmaharas. These are halmaharas. Um, Talons. I feel like he has a little more control over them, mm. and it's just working on handling just for a few moments while we clean. He's not happy. He has cute little toes, so he his toes split at the tips and almost look like a fan. Yeah, I love those little pictus geckos. Mm -hmm. She's very sweet. She loves food and she loves to come out. She'll usually come to the front of the glass and stand right up and demand to be taken out. <laughs> hey, Nerdit. Don't lick your hand. Mm -hmm. Why is it so tasty? Does she smell good? Does she smell good? I love her. Mm. She's a sweet tasty fingers. She's a tasty fingers. I got her at Petco years and years ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you really? Mm -hmm. How old is she now? Well, she's got to be about. Five or six, probably. Wow. She's very cute. And to me, they look exactly like leopards. Their face structures do. But of course, they have that very distinct uh, pattern. Mm hmm. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Her, her, bo boyfriend. her boyfriend. And the pattern will go away. I love them. They're so cute. So, sweet. this is actually an Oreo. So, if you look at him, how his tail. tail and that's kind no, of. No, go that way, bud. Indicative of here. I can pick them up if you want. Indicative of blue tail. So. What? What was that? Ivy falling over, oh. demanding to be taken out. She says, "I see you have someone else to help. Why are you not taking me out?" That's not nice. I love that blue tail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the Oreos get pretty much white and black. So hopefully we'll have a a few little babies from each of them. Mm -hmm. Here's oh, what is that? Is that a lady? Oh. Oh my! Oh. Yep. So he's a cicada tortoise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's gonna outlive us and he's gonna be like a hundred pounds. Uh, the yellow on her stomach is a random trait that these guys can get. It'll either be yellow, pink, or blue. Yeah, she eats everything. I just fed her yesterday.
He just has a giant head mm-hmm. <laughs> compared to his body. Well, this one has the same coloration as my gecko, Skyland. And Hugo is Skyland's daddy. Mm-hmm. And you can see he's starting to be a fan to mine. You can see some dark colors in his eyes coming in, which we're very excited about. He's a high yellow. He's not fired right now, unfortunately, but he's very sweet and very round and pudgy. <laughs> <laughs> he also has a very... Oh. Yeah, she's really pretty. Red and cream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The interesting thing is the eyelashes around her eyes, too, are also... So if you noticed on Hugo, he'll actually have yellow. Yeah, a, a pretty rough life if you see her toes. She's mm-hmm. yeah, she came to us with oh, yeah. multiple missing, missing digits and but she's doing really well. Her she's tail has grown sweet. back very strong. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, she. I think we had to force drop at her tail because it was infected. That was Hugo. She came in with with no tail. Oh, uh, is that what I was? Mm-hmm. Okay. Those yeah, phantom she's... eyes are amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you can see she's missing two digits on this hand. But she still climbs very well, um, mm-hmm. so that's nice. And she's super sweet. Mm-hmm. I think she's trying to hop. You going to jump? No, you're comfy. Only a female, so it doesn't have a male uh, sperm. Yeah, so it doesn't have any DNA from any male. It's so essentially it's a copy of the female. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's what the morning geckos do. It's parthenogenic eggs. And they, instead of taking a copy from each... Set of DNA, like they just d- yeah. re- re- pl- blah, 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 duplicate their own full set of DNA. But we got her with Brooklyn and Hugo. They were our first trio of gargoyles that we got, other than Ariadne, who was a baby when we got her. So she's kind of had. Uh, kind of a rough life. We got her and she was, you know, missing a few fingernails here and there and mm-hmm. a few little battle scars from yeah. having a good time, but... Not too bad. Yeah, she's got a great temperament. She's got beautiful blue eyes that you mm-hmm. can see. Mm-hmm. This is Scotland's mother. Mm-hmm. And she has very nice banding, so it's a, another particularly good trick. Mm-hmm. But they're very big. These guys can also see color at night because their eyes are so well adapted. Mm-hmm. This is the second largest Europlia species with Giganteus being just a little bit larger. Yeah. It's a Crillophus saracenorum and they're just called saracenorum geckos. So no fancy common name. So morphology wise you'll see Dalmatians, uh, white spots, and white lines. Mm-hmm. So these are your typical morph that you would see, which is just their wild type. It goes away when they're fully grown. That's the sign of a juvenile for them, is that they have stripes and they'll have the stripes closer together when they're younger. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed the tour as much as I did. And I want to say a special thank you to William Bryant and Essie Sindler, the owners of Phantom Gecko, for allowing me to come down and spend the day with you. Uh, It was a joy and a privilege to get to do that. And I will be sure and leave Phantom Gecko's link down in the description below. Be sure and check out their Facebook page. They have incredible quality geckos. And I know that there's going to be great things to come from some of their breeding projects that they're working on right now. Uh, If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos to come. And be sure and hit that notification bell so you'll know as soon as a new video is released. Thank you guys for joining me today and I hope you have a wonderful week. See you next time.